Hey what's going on YouTube? It's me again. And I decided to shoot a video of my brand new car. It's not exactly brand new, but to me, it's very special. Check it out. The 1989 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. If this was the Fleetwood Brome de-elegant, it'd have more high-tech stuff. Isn't she beautiful? I just washed her, polished her, and simonized her. She's all clean and shiny. No more dirt, no more bird shit, no more nothing. She's all clean. Not bad though, huh? As you can see, she's got a light metallic blue paint job, pinstriping on the side. She's got white wall tires, locking hubcaps, power everything, even cruise control. She runs great. Just recently got the air conditioning to work again. But the AC works, but I think it needs more Freon. But she's very nice. Let's uh, take a look, shall we? I'll show you the trunk first. As you can see, this Cadillac comes with signature gold-plated ignition keys. These have seen better days, but they still work, even though some of the gold plating is coming off. Look at all the trunk space I've got. I can fit thousands of bucks worth of groceries in here, man. Right here we have a car cover that I bought, but it doesn't fit, so I'm going to have to buy another one. I can't return it now. I've already opened the package. I have an emergency kit containing flares, a first aid kit, and everything else. I have a first extra first aid kit right here. I have a flashlight, which is super bright. It's halogen powered, like a halogen powered headlight. This may get bright, just in case of an emergency. Extra jumper cables and a spare tire. It doesn't match the other tires, but it's better than nothing. And watch when I close the trunk lid. Every Cadillac like this has one of these. Hmm, that one didn't work right. Well, the trunk latch is electric. It's real simple. I can show you again. Watch when I open this up. It's electric trunk latch. That's how it works. It's uh, automatic. You just shut the trunk a little bit, and you let the latch do the rest, like so. Ta-da! Just like that. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Yes. Let's. As you can see, she's got electric door locks. I have the steering wheel cover on here for a reason. The steering wheel is kind of cracked, so the steering wheel cover should protect it. It's got a nice loud horn. Wood trimmed interior. As you can see by the speedometer, 85 miles per hour total. She's got 91,000 miles on the odometer. You can barely read it because it's so dark. We have your basic cassette player radio system and climate controls like air conditioning and heating. An electronic mirror for the passenger mirror. And a switch for the driver's side mirror. Power seats, power windows. Spring-loaded wood trim chrome door handles. More chrome trim door um, handles right here. We got chrome trimmed pedals too, for some weird reason. I mean, it's nice. But at least they're big enough for my big feet. We have fuzzy dice. Now note, it is illegal in Virginia Beach in fact, it's illegal in Virginia, period, to have big stuff like this hanging from your rear view mirror. You will get pulled over. So, if I do go out for a drive, I'm going to have to remove these fuzzy dice and hang them somewhere else. Where a cop won't get mad at me for having these on my mirror. Over here we have a vanity mirror. How you doing? A rear view mirror that doesn't have any electronic things on it. If it was, like I said, this was the de-elegance model, it would be different. Right here, 
we have another mirror. Perfect for last minute makeup for women. Electric lights. Now before we start her up, I'll show you the back seat. As you can easily see from the back seat, lots of space. And inside every single um, door, um, passenger side door, we have an electronic cigarette lighter and an ashtray for guests. So it's, in every, it's in that door and the other door too. Every door has one except for the driver's side one. As you can see by the inside, the map lights work, as you can see. They both do. It's got shoulder strap seat belts. It's kind of like having a limo. Let's start her up and listen to the engine. Uh. One more thing. Not only does the steering wheel tilt up and down, but you can move the switch and pull it in or out. Pretty cool, huh? Here we go. Air conditioning works. Some way, just needs a bit of Freon. And as you can see, the steering wheel is nice and smooth. With the flick of the wrist, you can move it easily. Nice, soft, feather light power steering. Cruise control. Cruise control settings. Headlight switch. Wipers. Level ride indicator. Because this thing's got air suspension. Let's turn her off. Now sometimes after driving this Cadillac, if you turn it off, the engine will knock and, and uh, rattle a little bit before completely turning off. But that's normal in this Cadillac's age. Let's take a look underneath the car. I got something important to show you. This Cadillac has air suspension in the rear mostly. And it also has the gas cap behind the license plate uh, mount. If you look under here, there is a valve right here that operates the so called uh, air suspension. You can release air from this valve to lower the suspension. You can use a compressor to fill it with air to raise the suspension. And that's about it. It's even got adjustable shocks, too. Ain't that something? As you can see right here, only on the back wheels, I put eight ball. Um, um, valve caps on it just to make it look pimping to go along with the fuzzy dice. Now, these headlight, uh, these uh, hubcaps right here are uh, locked onto the rim so they can't be stolen. In order to unlock the hubcaps, you have to pry this off, take a special key that's in the glove box, and undo it and pry off the hubcap. There you go. If you want to change yourself a flat tire. Also, in the interior, I want to show you, see this cassette tape player? I have a special cassette tape here that you can use to play MP3s on your basic cassette tape player with this cord. Connected to this tape that you put in here like so. You just take this into the cord and plug it into your basic MP3 player, iPod, or smartphone, and you can play music on the radio through this. Pretty epic, huh? A mosquito in here, I'm sorry about that. These damn bugs keep getting in here. It's the fuel gauge. I got a half a tank of gas at the moment. And behind here, inside the uh, glove box, we got the trunk switch, which is, can only work if you. What do you call it? Uh, have the keys in the ignition turned on, of course. And here is the operator's manual. 
This manual came with the car when it was first purchased. Every car comes with one. As you can see, it's got the roadside service toll-free hotline for Cadillac. It's got a gold key delivery system with a credit card. You belong to Mr. V. Jubert. Uh, Mr. Victor Jubert. Back in 1989. This card says, has the date 1989 on it. 514.89. This card is no good. It cannot be used anymore. I bet if I tried to use this card today, I'd have to have it cut up because it wouldn't work. It would automatically be declined because this thing is expired beyond belief. But I still want to keep it because it's collectible to me for this car. In this manual, tells you everything you need to know about the Cadillac. Everything. Especially about the gold keys that it comes with. Finally got the mosquito. <laughs> Yuck. So, yeah. This thing comes with everything you need to know in your Cadillac. Great, I got more mosquitoes in here. So, yes. That's everything you need to know about my Cadillac. But first, I'll show you the front end. Let's pop the hood. Now, this hood's going to be really hard to open, so we're going to have to do this one-handed since I'm holding the camera. Got it! Ow! This thing has a 5.8... No, a 5.0 liter V8 engine. Sweet, huh? She runs great. It's a little squeaky right here, the alternator. It kind of squeaks. But that's perfectly normal. I just need to get the belts replaced. She just needs a little tune-up is all. But other than that, she runs great. As you can see, I have no license plates on it because it's not registered yet. But pretty soon, I'll be able to drive it once it's registered. They have it, YouTube. 1989 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. Everything you need to know about it and more. Hope you all enjoy it. I'll be hopefully shooting more videos of this car when I'm driving it. I'll see you later.